Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever this video finds you, I hope you're having a rad time. I'm the Figure Dude, and on today's Work in Progress Wednesday, we have a trio of CM Punk figures. Without further ado, let's talk about some figures. Dude. Welcome back. Like I said today, I have a trio here. I've got two elites and an ultimate edition that I'm going to be making of CM Punk. And these are, I've already have these elites in my collection. Like I've had the parts and everything. And um, before CM Punk went back to WWE, I had planned to make a bunch and I did make a handful of Jazzwares customs because obviously those, those CM Punks were easily accessible for a little bit there. Um, but then obviously he left the company. So we are going to be getting a bunch of figures from Mattel. And as of recording, this we have not made it to San Diego Comic-Con. So um, there's bound to be a, a, a large, a bountiful amount of CM Punk figures revealed. Probably digital renders. He's got the Defining Moments figure that's going to be coming out soon, which I do have pre-ordered. I'm very excited for that. Um, th there's just, I assume there's going to be a lot of punks. And I figured I would go back, I'd fix up some of the stuff that I have, and then if I end up having to um, get rid of or repurpose customs because they get made officially, not a big deal. Um, what we have here today is over here, starting with this one, we've got the SummerSlam CM Punk. And I'm pretty sure he, I, I, I maybe he wore it on Raw afterwards, but this attire is the blue, it's like a Wolverine inspired attire. So... He's got the blue and the yellow on the trunks, obviously, but then there was nothing on the kick pads. And I know when he had his SummerSlam match against Brock Lesnar, he had the full design, like kick pads, tights, like it all matched. So what I'm going to do is just paint over this, and then I've got the tights decals in there. You can kind of see them. And I'm just going to, see. you can see the blues are a little off too. So I'll be doing all, all the decals, fixing that up, and then um, that'll be the simplest one. Next up here is going to be a new Nexus version of him. So I've got the armband from one of the elites. I can't remember which one it is. And then I'm going to fill in the rest of this beard. Like I'm going to give him the full beard. But I wanted to use this hair because he kind of had this hairstyle at one point while he was leader of the new Nexus. And he had like frosted blonde tips. And I think that it will be a just like a funny look to add to my collection. Like it'll look different because um, frosted tips died around the same time my childhood did. Anyway, um, with Punk here, obviously these are Finn Balor legs, gonna just re be repainting that. It's gonna be in this gray attire. Um, I don't think it's quite the attire we got of him with the All-Stars two-pack. At least, at least if, even if it's not the same, this is a darker gray, but I, I'm really excited for that one. And then lastly here is gonna be an Ultimate Edition, which I've done two Ultimate Editions of Punk. This one is going to use a custom head from House 14, and then um, AJ Styles' torso, kick pads. I can't remember who exactly they're from, um, but then I use the Ringmaster or Bo Dallas thighs so that he's on ball joints, and then um, I've got, like, tattoos. I've got to find the tattoo decals, but I've got them somewhere. But we're going to be doing the Yankee attire. And I've done this attire twice for other people, other co for commissions, and I want to add it to my collection. And I don't think... I, I can't see us getting... Maybe this is re-released. -re I don't know. I don't see them re-releasing this figure. Um, maybe we get a gray version, but I'm going for a very specific look here. And then as far as the Yankee attire goes, I feel like they might give it, I, I'd be surprised if we didn't get the Yankee attire at all. Maybe in like a basic, I think they're going to knock out as many punk attires in basic form as possible. But um, I really wanted to use this head sculpt. And I think that's like a good, uh, good fit for that period. So let's get to it. Okay, so starting off here with Wolverine Punk, this is going to be the easiest one. I just had to paint some black over on the tights and then applying the decals with our micro set and sole as we always do. Even using the hair dryer, like, this is this is so easy. If you're a first timer, you want to make a new CM Punk, slapping the decals on here, easy job. Easy job. The other ones are going to get a little more um, in-depth with what we're trying to do. 
with the Nexus Punk here. Um, I'm gonna paint black over the designs that are already on the kick pads and I'm gonna paint the lower leg black and then the um, decals will just go over that. So I wanted to cover that white up. It, I didn't think it'd show through the decals, but I wanted to um, just make it look uniform before I applied the decal. The tights here, I had already sanded down a little bit, painted the white coat on, and then I'm gonna paint the gray before I put on those decals. And the grays are a little off, but as far as the pic like how, the how it looks applied, um, not gonna be a huge deal. It should blend in pretty well. Um, and then same thing, so just putting on the decals here, the kick pads are the hardest. I try to put one side down and then like press over to the other because it'll like it'll wrinkle up. So I really hit it hard with the hair dryer and press it, dab it lightly so that I don't have a bunch of just like lines and creases from the decal. The um, a tough one here that's going to take up the largest chunk is going to be this Yankees one. So going to do the um, white layer first and then I've got a bunch of decals but then we've got all of the decals for the um for the what am I saying for the tattoos um I don't know I guess the nexus punk here this got out of order obviously um <laughs> we we already got past that anyway back to back to regular regularly scheduled programming here is our yankee punk we're working on so these are the clear decals um gonna get those on and the Tights are always a little bit difficult because they don't, um, they're, they're a flat decal that has to move around like the bends on the tights. So, um, being cautious, dabbing those, using the hair dryer, it's really important. Patience. Patience is the most important. And then we're going to do the tattoos here. And these actually are like the easiest part. Um, for the arms, I use curb stomps, decals, those, they're just like cut and measured, very specific. And I just have an easier time using those than I do with 3XR um, for his decals. So I'm going to do those and then um, we'll get to the chest tattoo, which I will, for the chest tattoo, I'm going to use 3XR Studios um, big chest decal. It's a lot easier doing the kick pads with the boots than it is um, with the clear um, decals than it is the colored ones, just FYI. Here we go. We're going to start out with our new Nexus CM Punk first here. And I'm, I'm going to say I'm happy with all three of these. Um, all of the decals and everything I think turned out really well. The new Nexus Punk here specifically, um, I the grays didn't match perfectly with the decal and the paint that I had. It wasn't the end of the world. There is some cleaning up I'm going to do um, on the knee pads. I just, I want to... I used a knee pad that like had some sanding on it, so it didn't turn out, it just, it scuffed a little bit. So I wanna go back and fix that up. The head sculpt here, I did do the like dry brushing on for the kind of blonde look. And then the beard, I messed up the time lapse when I was trying to do that. So what I did was use acetone on the whole thing and got rid of the paint that was on there. And then I went over it with some light brown and then I used a black um, uh, micron pen to go over that to give it just a little bit of darker look. And overall, super, super happy with that one. Here's the Wolverine one. So this was the, what the sculpt looked like before I painted it, the before and after here. So you can see them both, get an idea. But this is what it started as. This is what it ended as. This one, um, I... So just getting them both a little bit closer here. I like, I'm just so happy with how it turned out. It looks like a very different sculpt to me. The, I might end up going and repainting that one anyway. Um, I just don't love the stock look of that. It just, it, with the like, just flat painted on sideburns, I feel like it just looks kind of cheap. Um, the decals of redoing those, I'm really happy with. Um, the darker blue, I, I'm going to go back and look at the actual um, match, but um, it's I, I don't know why they didn't give him the kick pad color. So I think this makes it pop a lot more. It looks a lot better. And then lastly, 
we have the ultimate edition here and I love how this turned out. Get everything on here. Adjust the head a little bit. So the um, lights do, I think, wash out the face a little bit. I want to figure something out just to give a little more texture to the face. I did, it just, I just feel like there's just something a little off about it. I'm really happy with the paint job. Just something is just not quite all the way there. Um, everything else I'm really happy with, like the arm decals, the tape for the wrists. I used the Micron pen for the X's. I did forget, I just realized I didn't put the drug-free uh, decals. I didn't write that on his fingers. So I'll do the, get around to that. Got the, got everything else. Oh, the neck tattoo. So I miss a couple small things, but I'll go back, fix that up. Everything else I'm ecstatic with. I'm finally going to keep this one in my collection. Um, as of recording this, I, it, not, neither of these three have been shown by Mattel, but I'm guessing we're going to get, I'm, if we don't get a bunch of CM Punk figures, I'll be baffled by Mattel. Um, but I'm sure we'll see plenty of renders. All these punks are just repaints for them with updated parts for the most part, I think. So um, we should get plenty up here, coming up here at San Diego Comic-Con, but um, for today, we'll just pop that off here, get all three on camera for one more final look. So maybe if we just adjust it a little bit. There, so there's Yankee Punk. There's New Nexus. Punk. And then lastly, we've got Wolverine, SummerSlam, Beast versus the best Punk. So there's everyone, and I think those look fantastic. Those are going to slot in nicely, and I'm sure we'll get some reveal. Um, there's more than just this gray attire from um, his new Nexus run, and I don't know if we're going to get another Wolverine, like a redo with this one, because they already did it. But um, CM Punk is a prime candidate for like chase versions and repaints so um i could get a whole top picks wave of just cm punk with different attires and i'd be happy with that so we'll see what we get but outside of that um we're wrapping up here today so if you made it all the way to the end thank you very much um please continue to like share subscribe and remember you can't buy happiness but you can buy more action figures figure dude out